Give it to Blue Eyes to be the next thing that breaks the community. Yeah, here we go again. Blue Eyes breaking the internet. Make sure you guys smash the crap out of that subscribe button. Okay, so. Dragon Master Magia. The Blue Eyes structure deck. All of the insanity that has come. You know the internet got broken over this. And the only thing that I'm seeing from people right now that are complaining. It's like, oh my gosh, you know, the Link one is so absurd. I'm sitting here, I'm like, look. Alright. Let Blue Eyes have its competitive time. I, I want to... I want to preface all of this here with a couple things. Uh, to the people out here that are currently upset with the current price point of Magia, stop. Calm down. All right. Be honest with you here. As of filming this, we do not have a slated release date for the Blue Eye Structure Deck. Now, that could change by the time I upload this this afternoon. But here's the reality of the situation. All right. If you're looking at $500 right now, for what purpose do you need to play this card? For, okay, sure, it's, you can play it in your casual Blue Eyes deck. It's not worth the $500, all right? Realistically here, and I know, real, real talk with me, all right? Once Konami has a date for that structure deck, once Konami goes, hey, we're gonna, here's, here's your Blue Eyes deck, then you can start to look around and go, one, is Magi included in it? Two, Will there be a window around that deck that Magia could receive a reprint? For all intents and purposes, right now, in August 2024th, with no slated structure deck release for Blue Eyes, all right, it is just a collector's piece. It is just a nice card to look at. You know, you can, until you get those Blue Eyes cards in that structure deck, you do not need a Magia for competitive purposes. Once you fast forward those chunks of months and get to the release of that deck, then we can kind of start to go, oh, I guarantee you, Konami is going, whatever set is going to happen around the time of the release of that structure deck, Konami is going to push that card in there as a selling point or a secret card in a set a month or two afterwards to help promote the sales of that thing because the reprint equity that Magia holds is that astronomically insane. Now, I had to talk, well, I mean, a lot of this was inspired, besides like the community having this absolute dumpster fire bitch fit about, you know, oh my gosh, you know, this Link 1 is insane. You know how many, you know how many things I have read from this Link 1? You know, like, oh, you know, Dragon Link, Dragon Link now has, you know, all of these cool, co cool. Dragon Link hasn't been relevant. Yeah, I'm just going to end the, the statement there. All right, sure, Dragon Link got a new toy. Alistair the Invoker got a new toy. Alistair's getting some alt arts. But when was the last time that you genuinely sat down to play a game of Yu-Gi-Oh! and went, oh, she, my opponent is playing Alistair the Invoker. I'm in real trouble right now. These, we're, we're, we're so programmed by the old past, ooh, scary things out here, that you can't subjectively look at the current level of power creep in the room and go, hey, it is cool, we got new toys for, you know, our old favorite things. Anyway, moving along, I can't really play these in today's meta. You know, the blue eye stuff, okay. Fundamentally, the, the triple negate on Magia, the potential Calamity Lock, uh, the potential, you know, Cosmic Blazar, Crimson Dragon, interactions and then to top things off i mean the the big blue eyes itself yeah that's that's a lot to take in all right that, that's a lot of big monsters being thrown at you and it is cool that they made blue eyes good i i not only does like the tcg have to deal with like the extremely high price tag on magia and this some sort of instant gratification that this community is needing to have rushing out and buy this with a set that doesn't even have a physical release date in the TCG. It's crazy to think about that out here, that you're watching people lose their minds over a card that you don't even need at this current point. I, like, I, I don't get that. Like, most of the time, you know, when we talk about things on this channel, we, we look at the fundamentals of, you know, picking things up early to avoid you know, the crazy buyouts 
that could potentially happen. You know, that's many, many months in advance. But those are not $500 price tags. This is actually the exact opposite thing that we're seeing here, where the card is so high up on a pedestal, and it's such a collector's item that when it does receive a reprint out here, that, you know, people that do have the coveted high rarity card will still be able to enjoy the card in that rarity. You know, also, if you need your instant gratification right now, rush out and play Master Duel with it. All right, the card's available in Master Duel for you to craft for like 30 UR. All right, like, that's fine. You don't have to hold the physically expensive, nice looking card in your hand at this point. Um, yeah, generational views for 500, please. Uh, instant gratification, the need to have something, that hole in your heart, the, you know, I'm not complete unless I have this. Yeah. So back to the, back to the blue eyes broke the internet. So th there were a couple camps for this. One, it was the whole Magia debate out here with the Konami's a dog shit company. You know, Konami's the worst for printing this card on this high thing. And the, the most sensible thing I've read from a few people in the community is like, you can't really complain right now because, like, like I said earlier, we don't have a, a announcement for the deck yet. We don't have a reprint slated yet for Magia, which will come. All right, like these two things will line up. So it's just you don't need the card. Now, once, you know, if we don't get a Magia reprint, then <laughs> slam the doors down and cry everywhere. All right, I'm just trying to be the sensible one here. And then the people looking at the, the link one here going, oh yeah, you know, like the blue eyes is gonna get banned. I'm sitting here, I'm like, yeah, well, you know, if you, you have to literally open up, like them making level nines. I, I, I've played against some of the blue eyes stuff pre-link one. And I'll, I'll tell you, like, it's really cool being able just to see, you know, the true light being activated, the blue eyes, the constant use of Spirit Dragon to set up these plays. But you got to remember one important thing about all of this. The big level 12 does dip back into the deck at the end of the turn because of Spirit. Or it's at the end of the opponent's turn or whatever. Um, you do see it piece out. Um, it's not sticking around. Also, the deck loses to board breakers. Like... <laughs> If they're ending on, you know, a Cosmic Blazar, the big, big, big Blue Eyes, and then a Magia, that all dies to Dark Ruler no more and to Forbidden Droplet. By the way, which are cards that rotate back in. You know what else that loses to that board? One giant sphere mode, all right? I don't, I don't see the problem with this. At least, you know, with three monsters, you're guaranteed to clean that up extremely easy. And, you know, even if you open up a good chunk of hand traps, you can probably interrupt them out. I also do see that, yeah, they do play crazy things like uh, the Crimson Dragon to toggle up for the second 12, um, which you're not imperming that because Magi is going to be on the field. You know, like, oh, hey, they have built-in trap negate. Yeah, they'll burn that on, you know, <laughs> the imperm, and you'll be like, yeah, there's nothing that you can do about that. I, I don't know. I, I think all of the hype is misplaced. I think this is another one of the communities, you know, it's so broken, we gotta do something about it. We, we have these interactions every other week when something new comes out, and it, it it's so amazing to me. So here's your, let's all take a deep breath. <sighs> Did you, do you feel better? All right, yes, I know. We all want to drag a Master Magia. All right, I get it. It's not worth it. Be patient. All right, once a structure deck is announced, then you know how many people are going to rush? Speaking of holidays, how many people are going to rush out and be like, please, significant other, please, or family, please get me a Dragon Master Magia. I'm going to hear at least three stories this year about how people got a whole ass Christmas gift of a $550 Magia, and then in March it gets reprinted. I can't wait for those stories. Uh, so what do you think about the Blue Eyes stuff? You think people are, they're up on the top shelf up there. Uh, 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 and here is, you know what, here, I'll, I'll write it down for you in my terrible handwriting. Did you guys find it? Did you guys find it? What, what was on the top shelf? Yeah, I think we found it. You guys have a good rest of your day, all right? Patrons, thank you. Yeah!
<laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.